Hi, this is Eric Martin. We're at Board Game Geek. I'm here with Matthew Bonin from Yellow. We're going to look at The Grasshopper and the Ant, which is the fourth book in your ta Tales, Tales and Games series here. Um, and obviously, we know what this is based on. Yeah. Grasshopper versus okay. the Ant. How does this play out in the game? So, it's, it's a game of uh, bluff and, and guessing. Okay. okay. Um, it's a game by Johan Levé, who's the, the author of, of Mimis. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for the little story. Uh, we actually asked him if he wanted to, to make a game about this tale because you know there's an ant in it. <laughs> okay. And he immediately came up with some ideas and okay. here's the game. So um, the, the first thing in the, you have to know in the game is that uh, the roles will turn. Okay? Okay. So it, at one turn I'll be the ant and then I'll play the grasshopper and so on. Okay. Okay. So, the goal of the game is different depending on the game mode. There's two game modes. The autumn mode, mm -hmm. which is good for um, younger kids, okay? And the winter mode, which is better between ad with adults. Okay. But the core mechanism is still the same. The ants, at the beginning of the turn, takes the six ant spawns and plays them uh, to form a line, okay, okay. Uh, on the the, the the tiles, okay. It's the the diff it's the the way to the food to the pantry, okay, and pop. so those are the the tiles that he may be getting at the end of the turn. Okay. okay? After pop, he did that, he used the those little tokens to secretly choose what which of those tiles he wants to get okay so here the obvious choice would be blue or red because they are two but uh, i also place my ants on the wood and the yellow tiles because i want to uh well you have to connect them and yes and i want to mislead i i could have played this but then yes the other player it's uh, a 50 50 chance of what's going to happen here uh, so I don't want to do that. Let's see. Sure. Uh, okay. I let's say this. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Thanks. Okay. So now the grasshopper will place its spawn on the type of tile that it thinks I'm gonna want. Okay. If you play with more than two players, the other players play as uh, red ants. The red ants they're just looking for the crumbs. Uh, and they try to guess, they also try to guess which uh, type of uh, tiles I'll, I'll, I chose with those little tokens. Okay. Then the ants reveal. Okay. If a red ant guessed correctly, they just take the first card from the pile randomly and get one. Okay. okay. Then if the grasshopper guessed right, he takes the the tiles okay okay and the ants play another turn okay if it failed the ant takes the the, the tiles all the matching tiles uh, with a, a ant's pawn on it mm -hmm. and the row of the ant turned okay, okay? the all for the grasshopper always turns okay you know if we are playing uh, more than two players right so what you want to do with those tiles it depends on the game mode if you play with the autumn mode, you uh, advance your little uh, token on the right shelf. Okay, there's a shelf for the four types of, of tiles. Uh, of as many square as the tiles you just took. So here I took two blue, I would go here. Okay. okay? As soon as one of the player has two of his uh, tokens on tens squares. The game is over, and we add the the points from wherever points. our cubes there's, are located. There's also small bugs on the cards. In the autumn mode, you're trying to collect different uh, insects. You look at there at the end of the of the game. If you have four different bugs, okay. Uh, now, 
in the in the winter mode, it's a, a bit different. You always have three uh, goal cards face up, mm -hmm. okay? And whoever gets to take the tiles from the middle, so the grasshopper or the ants, uh, can at the end of the turn spend his tile to pay for one of those goal. Each goal Which is, is worth points yeah. as well. Each goal is worth one point. Mm -hmm. The first player to reach four points wins the game. In this mode, the bugs are actually actions that you can take. There are six different bugs, so six different actions, mm -hmm. um, but you always play only with four. Okay. So it's all, not always the same uh, bugs. And so when you get tiles with bugs on them, you can either keep, keep the, the, the tiles or you can discard the tiles to activate the, the ability of the bug. Okay. Okay? So, a few examples of abilities. Um, this one, as long as you have it here, okay? If you are the grasshopper, when you are the grasshopper, you can look at one of the unused uh, okay. chips before choosing where, where to go. Uh, the, the ladybug gives you just one, uh, one point while you have it. Okay. So, as long as... Someone else doesn't take it, I would look at all on that. So, uh, and so on. Okay. Last rule, when you buy that, you can always convert three tiles of the same type to, uh, for, uh, to get an, an, another type. Right. And if you have him, it's, it's two for one. Okay. So basically that's the game. Okay. So two modes for different levels of players, different difficulty. And it's, it's, right. it, it, I think it's the, the, the most um, advanced game of the of the series so far it's a uh, it's an eight plus uh, because it yeah it there's a lot of, of uh, things going on and you have to there's not only the guessing there's also um, you know the when, when you place your, your pawn as an ant you try to mislead the other there's bluff it's um it's not that simple but it's perfect for families okay thanks for the review